Oh my god. Goals. What's up, Bo Baylors and new watchers? My name is Haley Lautenbach, Haley Kiana, Haley Bo Bailey. I have a lot of names, I need to figure out who I really am. I'm Batman. If you're watching, you are watching a YouTube video on a normal person's makeup. So I see all of this makeup done on Instagram and YouTube, and it's just so much makeup. I'm not gonna judge anybody, like, if that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do. But I just wanted to put a video out there, because I'm not a makeup artist, I'm a model. I've just learned from years of closing my eyes and feeling what makeup artists do to my face, like what looks good. The industry does, you know? Like what those people are doing on Instagram and YouTube isn't like normal makeup. So what I'm gonna show you is normal makeup from everyday life. Let's get started. I recently worked with Charlotte Tilbury and Jen Atkin and I'll be using basically all Charlotte Tilbury products because she gave me a goodie bag and I love her so much and her, they're my new favorite products. Like what I never used to have like a favorite brand, I can say Charlotte Tilbury. Shout out. So yes, let's get this makeup tutorial started. Hi. The first step in this is going to be to remove my makeup because I sleep in it. Very unhealthy, but I guess that's the secret to my good skin. Maybe all the makeup that's getting is absorbed into my pores it gives me no acne. By the way, I got these at Target because they were a dollar. It's flavored for faces, made with stevia, the sugar. Why I would want flavored faces? My face is gonna taste like a yummy cinnamon roll. Taste my face. Taste it. I'm just going to add the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Creme. Whenever I mention that Charlotte Tilbury is my newest favorite makeup, everybody's always like, Oh, you use the magic cream? I barely know anything about makeup, but I guess this is a very sought after product in the makeup world. I don't know the technological things about it, but I do know that it makes my face so much more moisturized than any of the more expensive ones, and I'm sure this is expensive anyway. <laughs> you know, I got it for free, so I don't know how much it is. So now that we're moisturized, one of my favorite products that I can't understand how I was living without, the Wonder Glow. It's either a primer or an after thing, but I like to use it um, mixed into my foundation because putting it under my foundation scares me that it's gonna be covered up and putting it over my foundation feels like I'm gonna mess up my foundation. I just mix it together. Okay, yeah, now you can see the difference. This one is shiny and pearly, that one is concealer. <clears throat> my biggest pet peeve also for makeup tutorials is how much foundation goes on faces. Please, girls watching those videos, don't do that. In videos, in a picture, it even looks like too much. In real life, I see girls wearing that and like I don't wanna be mean, but I feel like if I went like this to their face, I would have so much makeup under my nails. This is how much is gonna go on my face. This is all dapple or stipple it around my face, get the nose. I barely put it on my forehead because you just really don't need any makeup up there. I hate when you can see the difference between the face and the neck, so I always put it a little right here. Whatever is left on the brush, I don't add anything. I just don't think that there's any blotchiness left over. Now we gotta get my under eye bags. My most unself-confident thing about my face, my most Comment below the word I'm looking for. Bobby Brown, some kind of stick thing. For about three days, I was putting like this powder by Bare Mineral under my eyes, but in all of my pictures, I literally had like the Donald Trump white under eyes. Yeah! Or like people who go tanning too much and wear those goggles. And I just realized I was falling into an Instagram makeup trap. You don't need all that stuff. Perfect matchy, ooh yeah. These aren't Charlotte brushes, they are by MOTD. I got them in the Revolve Beauty Box. Yeah, I've never had a brush collection. I had probably like four brushes that I would use. I didn't realize what I was missing out on until I got an actual set. I love them. I'm going to do cheeks first. These are her Charlotte's Color Pop Sticks. We're gonna use Ibiza and Moon Beach. We're going to do the contour. And once again, please, please, please don't do too much. Not on the cheekbone, like right below it. Goals. That would be nice if I had a cheap one that actually looked like that. You don't go all the way to the mouth, and I always add just a little bit more. Like the hairline? I don't know what you would call this. Oh, <laughs> supermodel sculpt. Blend it into this little, this little hole in my cheek. Just gonna do little circles. Make sure you don't circle down because otherwise you're not gonna have a nice cheekbone. It's just gonna be a blotch of brown, like going up and down. I used to do that, and I finally noticed it, and that's why I didn't have nice blended cheekbones because I would go up and down and it would just get everywhere. I'm bringing the color up. See, I even used too much here. I can tell that it's just gonna be getting everywhere. Should have used it a little bit less. And then whatever's left on the brush, instead of adding more makeup, I'm just gonna kind of brush up onto here. So like I said, I don't wanna use too much because you start to look fake, baby bit on the nose. I might add a little bit more to do this, but so that it matches and doesn't look like I'm just having a face full of makeup. Put some on the neck so that it all blends together. Now this is just going extensive. I'll always put a little bit on the collarbone because collarbones are goals. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna do some more blending because it still looks like lines. I'm gonna use this brush, but bigger. The freaking bomb brush from MOTD is, oh my gosh, this one relates to me too. Beauty and the Base and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie. How perfect, okay. I just wanna really brush it in now because that just still looks like too much. Looks like a line and I hate when it looks like a line. It's just, oh, I forgot the chin. All right, I like that, it's not bad. We're trying to get that glowy supermodel Brazilian look, so beautiful, glowy, sparkly brown. I don't want to do too much highlighter because that really gives you that like makeup done look and I hate it. It's this Moon Beach one. Apparently it's M. Rada's favorite, which I know I love her, so I'm gonna use this for sure. Baby amount up here. Becca highlighter, of course, everybody loves this one. Broken, so sad. Light, light dusting. Just tap it right here. I don't go too far over here because it looks dumb. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then my favorite spot to put highlighter, which I, you know, I'm trying to do natural, but I always do it here anyway. It looks so pretty. All right, as I'm looking at myself close up, I'm realizing that I really still look kind of liney. So we're gonna do some more brushing. I look like I have mud on my face. Here comes the big daddy. Just gonna really blend everything together. Okay, now I think I'm satisfied. We'll see, but yeah, um, cool. I feel like such an Instagram um, tutorial maker, like. I could really be one, I could. It's time for eyelids. Let's get them done. Here's what I'm gonna do that I feel like is very innovative. Taking this little baby brush, using the Ibiza chubstick we used for my cheek. Guess what? Just guess, just guess. We're gonna do it on my eyeball. Wow. We're gonna be kinda hard to do on camera. I might have to do it in the mirror and fix it, but you'll get the idea. So, my eyes are very important to me, as they should be, I guess, but makeup wise, uh, models on like photo shoot sets are not allowed to like give any input to the makeup artist on what they want. It's what the, the client wants, I just burped. I am so particular about my eyes, plus I've been doing modeling for a while and I have followers so I have some kind of say over photo shoots now because I do get booked because of my followers. Anyway, I care about my eyes so much that I will speak up when I'm not allowed to speak up and say how I need my eyes done. And it's not a prissy thing, it's just like I know that I will look way better for the photo shoot with this. I always need a dark color. I blow my brow bone. Right there's the spot. Amazed. Obviously that's not blended yet, so don't judge. I want to blend it out a little bit. I love where this is going. You know when you do your makeup and it's just like not good and you're just not having a good day and it's like I did everything right but everything looks so wrong. Today's not one of those days. Just kidding. I'm not kidding but I didn't mean to sound so conceited. I want to go very light on this part because I didn't, like I said, we're going for natural. I'm just going to brush a little bit of highlighter onto my brush. Planet Blue is notorious for this if you look at their Instagram or Brit Soli's Instagram or Sparkle to Fowl's Instagram. They do all like the main LA chicks and this is what every client wants right now is the highlighter right in the corner. Right in the corner. I want a big differentiation. Big red Haley, good job. From the color on the outside to the inside, which brown and white is a pretty big color difference. Brush that into the middle of my eye and then to right underneath where the brown is. Now you can really see the difference from the brown to the white. Another thing I'm very particular on at photo shoots is I'll always be like, can you just add a little bit of eyeshadow under my eye, please? Usually they'll do it for me. I have a little bit of residue left from last night's makeup because like I said, I don't wash my face, but um, this is not racist at all. But if I don't add enough stuff here, I will look very Asian and small eyed. I have like a lot of face and if my eyes look small, my face just looks big, like a lot of flesh. What I'm talking about is we're going to get some nice dark colors onto this brush. I, don't, I, I hate when people put it all the way over here. It makes my eyes look small. So I only add eyeshadow to where my the brown, the black part of my eye is, the pupil. I don't go any further than that. Stop right there. Stop right there. Just do half. I don't go all the way in, I just do half. Oh god, I just touched my actual eye with that brush. Ow. See how much bigger that makes your eyes? Maybe it's like a, just like a little OCD for me, but like I feel like I can see a huge difference. Okay, I didn't mean to make a fake cat eye. We'll fix that. <laughs> Get rid of this weird line that just got added there. Okay, eyes are starting to pop. Getting very happy with this makeup so far. The This is the quick line, fine line, showed open. I've been eating a new eyeliner. I hope that's what this is. It is! 
Same with the eyeshadow down below, how I only do half. I only do eyeliner from this black dot in my eyeball. That's how I measure where I put my makeup. Okay, so we're just gonna start from right here. Oh my god, I'm scared. This is really hard to do. I used to do my makeup where I would put my cat eye right, like, you know, the corner of your eye. But my makeup artist Sparkle taught me that you don't put the line on the corner of your eye. To make your eyes bigger, you start, like, a little bit above your eye. I hope I can show this in the video. Oh my god. <laughs> I just messed this up. We're gonna have to try this again in the mirror. I'm gonna have to be more pointy, but you see how that's above the point and not on the point of my eye? Now I'm gonna do this in the mirror and come back and show you. All right, fix the makeup. That's basically the end of it. I'm gonna go do my day today. I'm gonna go, I wanna work out, but I have my makeup done. So I guess that's an excuse to not work out. Oh, too bad. I hate working out. Um, anything else that I would do to myself would be just, this is Orbe, all the photo shoots use, the dry texture spray, <laughs> Jen Atkin dry shampoo. Love it. Be sure you like and subscribe to this video. Thank you so much for watching my normal person makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoy this. I don't know what kind of stuff I want to post on my YouTube yet. If you like makeup, let me know. Love you guys. Bye. In the shower.